Good evening uh, everyone, I'm uh, filming from uh, Man Museum, the National uh, Archaeological Museum of Naples and uh, I'm here for the World uh, Press uh, 2019 uh, photo exhibit. There are groups of uh, photographs uh, about uh, migration, photographs uh, about uh, political disruption and war, and uh, photographs about uh, nature. Migration again, uh, this is uh, the border between uh, Mexico and the United States. No Trump, stop building walls. This is uh, Malibu, California, and uh, these uh, horses uh, were saved uh, from a wildfire. You can still see the terrible uh, light uh, coming from the flames above. This picture is uh, from the United States. Uh, it's a boxing match, and uh, there is uh, the Olympic uh, champion uh, and also champion in different uh, categories of uh, weight, uh, Vanessa Shields. Uh, giving her adversary a massive uh, uh, right hand, uh, very, very heavy right hand, uh, presumably a hook, and uh, the face uh, of uh, her adversary uh, still uh, vibrating under the impact. What a massive KO. This is uh, a celebration of a womanhood in Cuba. So uh, it's uh, the celebration of a 15th birthday of girls uh, that uh, slowly become uh, women and are ready for marriage. This celebration had a special, special significance uh, because uh, the girl celebrating was uh, diagnosed uh, cancer at a very, very early age. And doctors said uh, she would never, uh, uh, never, ever go beyond the age of uh, 13, but uh, clearly you can see she's a healthy woman now and uh, she's ready for a new life. I think I have a cultural uh, relationship uh, with this picture. This is uh, the result uh, of uh, an eruption. The volcano Fuego, which means uh, fire, erupted uh, suddenly near uh, Guatemala and um, the eruption was exceptionally violent. It was totally unforeseen. Many people uh, live, uh, lived and live uh, still at the foothill of uh, the volcano. So uh, many houses uh, were hit by uh, the eruption. Uh, this is uh, a bedroom uh, covered and half buried in ash. I'm from Naples. I'm uh, filming uh, from uh, the National Museum where we have the remains of uh, Pompeii and this uh, could happen to us any time of the future. Here the topic uh, is a war, basically the civil war uh, going on in uh, Yemen with uh, government uh, forces uh, fighting uh, opposition, uh, fighting uh, rebels uh, and uh, imposing uh, food blockades uh, on the whole country and uh, also uh, great uh, shortage of uh, medicine uh, throughout. The most dramatic uh, picture is uh, this one of uh, a little boy crying, gulping uh, for air. This little boy had a heart disorder and uh, there was uh, no oxygen uh, available, so as a result he died. This is uh, the winning uh, photograph uh, overall uh, for uh, the exhibition this year. Uh, the name of uh, this woman is uh, Petronella. Chingumbura, sorry for the mispronunciation. Anyway, she is uh, the leader of uh, a team of anti-poachers uh, in uh, Zimbabwe. So the idea is uh, to give uh, courageous, uh, brave uh, women in Zimbabwe an opportunity to earn uh, money and at the same time uh, save uh, wild animals uh, from poaching. This is uh, a photograph uh, showing uh, three models uh, wearing uh, clothes designed by Adama Paris. So uh, a uh, fashion designer in Dakar and uh, Dakar is becoming uh, a hub uh, of a uh, fashion world uh, in Africa. And uh, they organize a yearly fashion week. Wanna go?
This is uh, one of my uh, favorite uh, pictures of a whole exhibition, if not uh, the favorite, and uh, one of the cruelest. In uh, Hungary, people uh, collect uh, frog legs and uh, sometimes, or in most cases probably, they serve the limbs of the poor frogs while they're still alive and then they throw them back in the water. They do this in mating season when the frogs uh, and the toads meet to reproduce. So in this picture, the poor frogs uh, that are dying uh, strive to reach the surface uh, aided only by their front legs.